With the movement of Hurricane Ian through the district's southern region, unfortunately, we are seeing unprecedented flood levels on the Lower Peace River, some of the highest levels that we ever recorded. Unfortunately, there's just these kind of isolated islands of houses just as far as you can see. The roads that go east-west across the river are just completely underwater, stretching for hundreds and hundreds of feet. My name is Taylor Langford. I am a professional engineer in the engineering and watershed management section. We saw unprecedented flooding in counties like Sarasota, Charlotte, Hardy, and DeSoto. In response to this very significant event, the district has a variety of field staff both on the ground and in a helicopter trying to document the results of the widespread flooding. Seeing the floodwaters from the air allows us to really get a great picture of kind of the extent of flooding. But one of the main things that we do in the engineering section is we build these very detailed watershed models that try to understand when we get large rainfall events like a hurricane, like Hurricane Ian, really just where the water goes and how much water will be in different places. Part of the district's mission is to minimize flood risk and through this data collection effort we will be able to have much more accurate calibration points when we build these watershed models. And really for the future we hope to be able to better inform the public on places that are at higher risk to flooding events, especially along the river and especially knowing that we've experienced this event it has been very impactful for many residents, especially in our southern region. We saw rainfall totals from just a single day reach from 15 to 20 inches of rain. Unfortunately, is just a reminder of what can happen. It's really just a very catastrophic and unprecedented event. 